Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to do a quick unboxing today. I say quick because it's about 100 degrees in the shade in Los Angeles, so it's very warm in my apartment. The windows are open, there's going to be noise, so bear with me. Um, but I really wanted to open this thing that I got, and I figured I would do it on tape. Uh, and it's uh, it's kind of unique. It's, it's Chanel number no. 5. It's another vintage. Uh, but obviously this isn't a thing that's discontinued. Uh, Chanel Number no. 5 is one of the world's most famous perfumes. It's still available in most places. Uh, every huge department store carries it. Uh, and there's a million different versions of it out, out on the market still. Uh, Pure Parfum, Eau de Parfum, Eau de Toilette. Uh, so it's not rare, but there are kinds of Chanel Number no. 5 that are discontinued. And I'm looking at one today that is... Uh, Chanel number no. five eau de cologne. Uh, Chanel number no. five, of course, you know, it's very famous. It was released in 1921. It's the signature scent of, uh, well, Coco Chanel, uh, Marilyn Monroe, uh, Jackie O. Uh, so it's really legendary, and I, I've, I've never smelled it. This was a blind buy. Uh, and the eau de cologne concentration of all Chanel fragrances. Uh, all, all of the eau de clones were discontinued around 1990, I understand. Um, the bottle that I have here, which I got on eBay, I think is towards the end of the run of the eau de clones. Uh, and it was excessively wrapped. I, I appreciate that. Um, so, but... So, uh, this is what I was after. This is the Eau de Cologne of Chanel No. 5, uh, which is uh, said to be the most unisex version of the fragrance, uh, said to be a civet bomb, really playing up those animalic uh, elements of the perfume, which are always present, I think, um, according to what I've read. Uh, but here, they're really apparent. Um, I've never smelled Chanel Number no. Five at all that I can recall, so I'm excited to see what's in here. Uh, I'll show you the box before I take off the cellophane. This is a—it's a, it's a pretty rare occurrence to find a bottle like this uh, still in the wrapper, and you know it's in excellent condition. Uh, let's see. It's a little dirty from sitting on a shelf on the bottom, but everywhere else it's really perfect. Uh, and that, you know, I love the box because this is probably, if I had to guess, it's got, um, it's got a short list of ingredients on the back, so I'm guessing this is late 80s, um, but the packaging looks exactly like it could still be on the market today, um, and it hasn't really changed as far as I'm aware since, I don't know, the 1960s or 70s, um, so it's one of those things like Coca-Cola or... Mickey Mouse, where you kind of instantly can recognize some of the iconography. comes in a little cardboard holder. It's quite nice, actually. It's a very nice bottle, very thick. And uh, I'm actually kind of surprised there's no information on the bottle that I can see otherwise. You can see through the back to the sticker. It's a very nice cap which is like uh, deeply carved with uh, interlocking C's. 
Let's see what else is in here. In the order package comes the little pamphlet. Uh, advertising kind of like the other products that you could buy at the time from Chanel in the number five line. Uh, yeah, spray perfume, perfume for the purse, spray cologne, eau de cologne, eau de toilette, body creme, bath gel, milk bath cream, oil for the bath. So this was obviously a very uh, successful line. Uh, Nice. This is, this is super cute. I'm going to keep this. All right, so let's see what's under the cap. Ooh, the cap is very nice. It's like a um, very hard plastic, pretty thick. And it's a splash bottle, so there's no uh, atomizer in there. Uh, A lot comes out. <laughs> it's a big hole in the splash. Gotta be careful with that. Okay, so it's powdery, it's woody. I'm not getting the the civet bomb that everybody talks about. Um, Civet is an animal. I think it's some. It's maybe a cat or a weasel or something. Um, but it's it's prized for its glands, which smell bad, and they're used in perfumery. Um, but I don't get that here. Civet is said to say smell like kind of sweaty or even uh, urinous or like bo. Um, and I don't get that. I. This on the opening is there's a little citrus, there's florals. I think probably part of it is it's so hot today that um, something like this is not going to bloom as well, uh, on paper at least, uh, as it would if it were a reasonable temperature. But it smells nice. It smells fresh. And that was the you know the, my main concern buying any of the vintage perfume is that it, it hasn't been exposed to light and air and gone off. Uh, this is easily as old as I am, 30 plus years. Um, so to have it in condition like this is, is just excellent. Um, well, thanks for sitting with me and unboxing with me. I hope you enjoyed looking at this vintage bottle of uh, Chanel Number no. 5 Eau de Cologne. Uh, and I hope to bring some more thoughts on it soon. Thanks. Bye.